Hi everyone, uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about Fitness Through Faith and what my journey has been like over the last several months, but first I'm going to give you a little background. Um, I have fought cancer uh, several times um, in the past 10 years or so. Um, I have not led a healthy life. I've always had weight problems most of my life, starting back in grade school, junior high. And of course, you know, well, you're big boned and you're not supposed to be small and um, you're healthy. Uh, so that was the mindset that I took most of my life. Um, this past December, went to the doctor for my yearly checkup for my thyroid and all that good stuff. Um, doctor told me, she said, you're pre-diabetic um, and diabetes runs in my family. Um, you are um, on that fine line for coronary heart disease, which runs in my family. And uh, she said, I'm really worried about what the future is going to hold for you. Uh, so it was Christmas time and I went, mm, I'm going to worry about that after Christmas and because uh, it's Christmas time and I don't have time for that right now. So over the course of the next several weeks, um, Dylan Farmer's name just kept popping up. I went to get my nails done and it popped up and I talked to an old friend of mine and that popped up again and I'm like, what is this? Um, and I'm very led by the Lord to show me where I need to go and what I need to do and so on. So the first of the year came and um, my grandsons, we got some snow and they wanted to go sledding. So we loaded up and bundled up and we went outside and we went sledding. And uh, we live on four acres of property. So we have quite a bit to choose from as far as, you know, getting some good sledding time in. Um, we got down to the end of our property and we did a few, you know, sledding skims off the side of the driveway and Nana didn't think she was gonna make it back up to the house. Um, I couldn't hardly breathe. My heart felt like it was going to jump out of my chest. And I thought, what am I doing? Um, I've got to do something because I can't keep up with these grandbabies. And I have four under four. And um, I honestly, it scared me. Um, it totally scared me. Uh, my husband and I talked about it that night and how ashamed I was. I'd let myself get in this spot. And in this shape and um, he said well you need to start doing something I'm like like what I've tried everything um, I was at that time I was working on the keto um, doing the keto every day and going to the gym started going to the gym you know right after that and um, I was making some progress but I knew the keto diet was not something I could maintain for the rest of my life um, it had its pluses, but it also had its downfalls and I knew it was not something I could do forever. <clears throat> and so it was another short term fix and for me, um, and so I kind of wrote it off. Well, got on Facebook that night and was checking my messages and there's Dylan Farmer's name again. And I ran into a friend of mine a couple days later and she was telling me that, you know, she she had had good luck with it and, and um, she looked fantastic and uh, so I thought well what the crap I'll just check into it see what see what it's about and so I sent a message on Dylan's um, website that evening and I think it was the next morning he got a hold of me and we talked it over and and all this and um, so I thought well that that might be something that I can do you know it's the longevity of it um, so I talked to my husband about it and since I'm a stay at home Nana and I do not bring in an income, I really struggled with the money situation. Do I spend that kind of money? Do I, can we afford it? Is it something I'm going to stick with? And, and I, I did, I, I text Dylan the next day and I said, you know, it's just not something I think I'm going to be able to do right now. It's not in the finances. And the next morning was Saturday, talked to my husband and he said, would you just do it already? He said, I would much rather you spend money on something like this that's going to get you healthy, put you in a better frame of mind, get you back to where you used to be, than have to be on insulin every day and watch you give yourself a shot and take more medication. So I did it. I jumped into it and I called Dylan again the next day and I said, change my mind again. And uh, he said he wasn't surprised. And so the next Monday we got started. Um, I kept going to the gym and I had problems with, you know, the, the workout. And I thought, gosh, I don't know if I can do this. And, you know, I'm too big for this. And um, I just kept doing it every day. 
and every day is a whole new day. And if you messed it up the day before, you start over the next day. That's the wonderful thing about the Lord. He gives us new beginnings every day. So that's what I did, and that's what I'm continuing to do. And I finished my 12 weeks with Dylan, and um, I have lost to date. I have lost 38 pounds. Um, I've dropped five inches around my posterior, and anyone that knows me know that that's a huge deal. Um, four inches around my waist, and I have dropped, oh, well, as of today, I've dropped five pant sizes. So, um, and I can keep up with them babies. And we have a blast. I have more energy. I, um, I feel better about the decisions that I'm making as far as food is concerned. Food is not to me anymore something that I get pleasure from. I enjoy eating, um, but it's fuel. It's fuel for my body. It, 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 um, if I'm feeling sluggish, if I'm um, really tired, um, I know that I need to up my veggies, up my um, things like this. And Dylan has been right beside of me every step of the way. Um, he's listened to me whine and he's a lot and he's listened to me be upset because I didn't meet a goal that I'd set for myself and he is very very encouraging now with that being said there are times when um, over the past 12 weeks that Dylan would say Sheila we've talked about this you know the right answer you just got to do the work and that's what I needed to hear um, because I didn't have anybody to tell me that uh, because everybody was afraid, oh, I'll make her mad. Well, sometimes I was aggravated at Dylan, but it's exactly what I needed to hear. And he's great about that. He is all about the encouragement. Um, I think any advice that I would give to anyone that's, that's looking towards the future and thinking about getting involved with the Fitness Through Faith with Dylan, I say it's worth a phone call. Um, he's not pushy. He is not going to shove anything down your throat. There's no medications to take. There's no supplements you have to take. There's no, there's nothing that you have to do that's long term that if you stop doing it, that you're going to go back to the way you were. The only thing that's going to keep you from that is yourself. It's not going to be because of medicine. It's not going to be because of, you know, supplements or anything like that. It's going to be because of the decisions that you make. Um, I, like I said, I think it's really worth a phone call. Um, if he can't help you, he'll say, I can't help you. I, I don't, I don't know what to do for you, but I really don't see that happening. Dylan is awesome. If you have physical disabilities, if you have things that are holding you back, he takes all that into account when he puts your meal plan and your workout plan together. Um, he takes into account, you know, injuries that you might have and he advises you along through that too. So... I thank you for listening to my testimony, and um, I appreciate your time. And if you would like to reach out to me, please feel free to do so. I am. I will tell you exactly how it is. And um, I thank God every day that He didn't. That God didn't give up on me and kept saying, "Go talk to Dylan. Just go talk to Dylan." So you have a good day. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.